Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, the hat is definitely going to be a common thing here. I love filming videos on days off because I have no rush, I can sit down, I can smell with you guys, and I don't wash my hair on my days off, obviously, because I want to preserve the color, and my hair is a mess. So I'm like, tucked in a hat, going to the gym later, but... I have the most beautiful haul I have ever showcased on this channel, and I'll just give you two little previews, and from the title above, it is a bathing garden haul. I ordered from the bathing garden years and years and years and years ago when I was fresh into wax, young, first job, still living at home, and had all that fun money to spend, and honestly, I just, I don't even remember, honestly, it was so long ago, but now that I've matured, I've grown up a lot, I know how much people loved the bathing garden, and it was at that time the winter collection was over, and I'm like, I'm ready for, I'm ready for some new, so as soon as she announced that the Valentine's Day collection came out, <laughs> I came, I hauled, this box, well, it came in two boxes. I have a little mix of everything. I do have a lot from the Valentine's Day collection. Some samples that I got, as you know, if you don't know, I'll explain, have some of the new circus collection, the vintage carnival collection. Um, and then she did have a sale on some leftover Halloween and um, summer and winter products. So I did get a few items from the fall collection, like fall Halloween, and from the summer collection. But if you don't know, I will leave the bathing, the bathing garden's website down below. Now, Shannon is the owner of the bathing garden, and I will say she's not really part of the wax community. She doesn't have a Facebook group. There is a fan page, though. It's not super, super, like like a lot of the other vendor groups are. She does not have any affiliation with it. Shannon kind of does her own thing. She releases collections, which you'll find in your newsletter. They will announce it in the Facebook fan group too. But um, for the most part, Shannon does her own thing. And she makes her wax. And you can tell she puts her heart and soul into this wax. They are stunning. My camera will not do these justice, but definitely take a look out when you order from the bathing garden. It does take about three, week, three weeks for your order to ship. As you see, I ordered a lot. I ordered a lot of stuff, but listen, I was ready to go, and this actually was the first part of my low buy that I just blew. I, I blew completely. But anyway, this is a bag full of samples, which we're going to start off with. I did sniff everything really fast when it first came because I was just, oh my god, there's like literally samples galore in this bag. These are all samples. These are all free goodies. So without further ado, let's get into it. Diving first right into this bag, we have Raspberry Lipstick. Now, her labels are so cute. They're like these little craft labels, and they have like this very gothic writing on them, and then she puts like a little clipboard image. But her wax itself, this is going to probably be an hour haul, just so you guys know, is stunning. Like, look at this sample. I'll easily cut this in half and put it in two different warmers. It's like lipstick on like silver lipstick on these cute little lips <sighs> lipstick in wax is so interesting to me because when you think lipstick you think like waxy and that's what lipstick is but yeah it's like waxy lipstick but in a good way with bright tart raspberry i'm not sure if this is part of the collection i did not see it in the Valentine's Day collection, I'm not 100% sure, but this is the first sample. Now, one thing could be a downside. It doesn't really bother me either way, but I do know that the bathing garden wax needs a long time to cure. And some people even say a year, which I know sounds really crazy. I mean, this is the Valentine's Day collection, and I'm putting this up on February 3rd. So, even if you want to give it the month like typical vendors, 
it's still past Valentine's Day, but honestly, I'm putting this back in the box and I'm bringing it out next year for Valentine's Day. I know that's crazy, but I have so much wax, I'm letting this bathing garden stuff cure for a year. So, just so you know, you won't see it in any of my trash talk videos or anything. I might melt some samples, like in my bathroom, but yeah, I'm letting it cure. If you guys have good experience with bathing garden earlier, like six months, two months, a month, let me know. Just definitely let me know. But anyway, the next sample is cotton candy ice cream. And this is, I believe, from the Carnival Collection. So it's like this really cute ice cream scoop. Now, the bathing garden does not have scent descriptions. And it is like a scavenger hunt to try to find them because her website only has what's currently available. So the preview of these circus ones are not on the website anymore. So it's kind of challenging to find the scent descriptions, but cotton candy ice cream, pretty self-explanatory. If you're familiar with Brewster's ice cream, this smells just like that Brewster's ice cream, that like pink ice cream that's like cotton candy explosion. Yeah, it smells like super, super sweet, rich cotton candy with some vanilla to cream it up. Next, now, um, I did go on sniffs and smell these. This is a Hauntingly Dickens Tale. It's from, I think, the Christmas collection. This is straight up nasty. It's like dirt and patchouli and orange and, I don't know, clove. Whatever it is, I am not a fan. <gasps> Next, Circus Bread. This is also, I believe, part of the Circus Collection. And, like I said, if you're super interested in what I'm talking about today, a lot of these items are still available on the Bathing Garden. The Circus is coming up. So definitely subscribe to her newsletter, which you can find on her website, so you're up to date. I believe, Jenny, this is one of your favorites, the Circus Bread. And look at it, it's like a like a little wreath cookie like a, it's like a cookie and it has all these different colors on it and oh my god when I smelled this first like a quick sniff it's like a really rich decadent strawberry bread oh like a fresh baked bread note with strawberry jam on the top that is divine 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 definitely need need some of that in the circus restock next we have circus cake so it's that same shape but it's in white trying not to go super slow because it's a lot this is okay it's kind of like a light raspberry vanilla cake is what my nose detects like it smells like a rich vanilla cake with light raspberry frosting like if you almost took a really really um, decadent frosting and just added like a pinch of raspberry sauce to it and mixed it together so it just has like an essence of raspberry. Next this is a big old guy and this is in vanilla sprinkles. Now this does have a cupid on it so I would assume this is the Valentine's Day collection. I did not pick this up. Yeah and I, I, I think I didn't pick it up because it's just pretty plain but now, if you are not a glittery fan, you will not like the bathing garden, but this literally looks like the most decadent, gorgeous, like, sugar cookie. And, yeah, it just smells like, it just smells like, like, vanilla bean. Just like a pretty plain vanilla. So this will be a nice mixer or, like, just on its own. Oh my god, so many samples. This one is Dancing Elephants, and it's like a little elephant cookie. And again, I assume this is part of the Carnival Collection. Or the Vintage Circus Collection. I don't know why I call it Carnival. And this smells like a very, very fruity berry. Like a cassis, too. Because it has like a little bit of a unique tartness. Yeah, it smells like, like a unique tart. Interesting. It, like a unique tart berry. That's yummy. Like a little bit jammy, which is like some of my favorites. This one is Ruby dressed in red, and it's like a little heart-shaped cake. This is like, this is like straight up lime. I've smelled this before. Oh, and no, it's not. It's grapefruit. And now that I hear Ruby, I think this is grapefruit. Yeah, it's like a zesty, wake you up, 
wake you up grapefruit. Oh my gosh, guys, so many samples. Marie Antoinette's Boudoir. I have this in a little heart. I did order this in a clam. So we'll talk about it when I get to the clam. This one is Starlight Soda Pop. It's also that same little cookie shape. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know if it's her fizzy pop. It kind of ha it has something herbal in it. Not lavender. Rosemary. Or cilantro. Or like coriander. Or basil. It has some sort of like herbal green mixed with soda. I'm not sure about that one. It does have a masquerade mask on the front, so I assume this is part of the Carnival Collection. Oh my god. The Circus Collection. This one is Jar of Hearts, and it is a little heart with some glitter on it. And her glitter on these, it's like little hearts, but they're holographic and they're like outlines. They're not full sprinkles. This, it's, I'm not getting anything from it. Yeah. Maybe like a very light buttercream. And this, I would assume, is the Valentine's Day. I'll have to look this up. But yeah, it's like a very light, light, like, buttercream frosting. Oh, but these are so cute. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, and then we have Vintage Circus. I know a lot of people like this one. And this is part of the Carnival Collection. Oh, my God. The Circus Collection. I am like, I'm so good. I'm like, oh, this is Circus. It's Carnival. Circus. This is just, this is just like super sweet and fruity. It's like a little cake shape. Yeah, that's like super sweet and sweet, cakey, berries. That's yummy. It's super hard. I, I will say, I did my specialty and I did make labels for all the stuff that I did purchase. Next we have Bohemian Rhapsody. That's like this little fluted tart. Oh my gosh, her stuff is just so beautiful. This smells like something from Lush. It's fruity. I'm like, everything's fruity. Is it lime fruity? Now I'm thinking this one's lime fruity. Yeah, this is like a, like a candied, candied lime scent. Yummy. Oh, and then the last tart sample is the wishing tree. And I believe when I smelled this one, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it smells like a very buttery cake. It's just like a little white bundt cake. I'm like covered in glitter now. Yeah, it kind of smells like a buttery cake. Like, like a pound cake almost with like, and I hear wishing tree, so I don't know if it's my mind thinking it's green. But yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like a, like a buttery cake with almost like a green note. So, those were the samples and they came in this really cute little lip bag. She also sent a very generous sample of one of her sugar scrubs. This is a coconut oil sugar scrub. Now, I don't want to open this purely because I have so many sugar scrubs open right now. And one thing about me... I don't like to open something when I have other things going. I do have multiples of one, like I have three sugar scrubs that are all open that I alternate with just to get different scents and textures and stuff, but I don't like having a ton of things open. So I'm keeping this in the seal, but this is a nice size. This is, this has to be like two or three ounces because it's a nice size. And this is in the scent Pucker. It's her coconut oil sugar scrub. And that's it for samples, and the only body care I got is a big size, 8 ounces in her Parisian Strawberry Fields, which we will talk about that in wax. I definitely got some wax. This is my friend Lexi here on YouTube. Two quick wicks, her all-time favorite scent from the bathing garden, and I cannot wait to try this scrub, but it's also sealed, so like I said, I'm not going to open it yet. And it has the cutest little strawberry on it. And this is a shea butter sugar scrub. And the bathing garden, obviously bathing. She offers a lot of Bath & Body products. I have, working at Bath & Body Works, I have so much Bath & Body products at home. Shower gels, scrubs, etc. And it gets to be very overwhelming. So when these restocks come, there's definitely things I'm like, I really want to try it. But I have so much Bath & Body products 
that I need to make sure that I'm, you know, rotating, using what I have, not letting it expire and stuff like that. So I did want to get one scrub. It was nice that she sent me another one, but yeah, definitely going to keep these sealed. Um, and then once they're empty, I'll definitely be sharing it with you guys on my Trash Talk series. I do have two sets of shapes that are not part of the Valentine's Day collection that I first wanted to start with. <gasps> the first, these mummies. When I was seeing everyone's Halloween hauls, I was like, these mummies are so cute. So as soon as I saw the website was open and she said there's a code for 15% off leftover Halloween, Christmas, and summer products, I saw these mummies and I knew I had to get them, so I did pick up two. These guys are so cute. I'll probably, they're thin, so I'll probably cut them in half and I'll have four warmers going. But the detail on these little mummy shapes is incredible. The scent is Mummy Apple Sugar Cookie. And I got these really little labels from Avery. And I sat down, it took me a long time to find all the scent descriptions and make the label and stuff, but this is my hobby, it's what I like to do. So I put these little labels on all the things that I purchased, and this one is Frosted Sugar Cookies Blend with Apple Cheesecake Drizzled with Brown Sugar Caramel. I'm just going to pop this out. Look at the detail, see the holographic, his little eyes, and his eyes are like bloody, like a little mummy. Now I will say, the scent is okay. It's just like a kind of creamy apple cookie scent. It's not a scent that I'm like, oh my god, I go crazy for. It's a nice scent, but I did buy it purely on the packaging. So, next Halloween, I will be for sure melting these little guys because they're just super super cute so i did pick up those guys now the kitties are like i want attention i also picked up two little bags of buttery gingerbread and i picked this up because a lot of people said oh her gingerbread does not smell like every other gingerbread it's like really odd so i wanted to pick them up to try them out for myself and these are really teeny. You get two little gingerbread men, and I mean little gingerbread men. These will probably, I mean, yeah, it probably is a, equivalent to like a cube and a half maybe from like just experimenting, like looking at it, of wax. But we'll see. I'll pop them in my warmers around the holidays. But Lexi talked about melting this and said how awesome it was. And I trust Lexi explicitly. So... Or implicitly, not expl explicitly. Oh my god. Let Liberty Bell Lexi. She knows what I'm talking about. Hey! These kitties. This one. What is going on? He's like, you're filming a video. And this says, rich butter blends with gingerbread, cookie, maple, cinnamon, and creamed vanilla. Stop meowing! I don't think it smells odd at all. I think it smells like a true gingerbread. Like, if you're baking gingerbread cookies with true ingredients, like real fresh ingredients, not like a box gingerbread mixed from the store, like homemade, that is exactly what these would smell like. So, I'm excited. And then, my Valentine's Day collection shapes, yeah, that's all I got for shapes from them, is in here. I'm only going to pull out one of each. I did get three of each of the shapes. I thought they would be smaller to pop in my warmers, but they're actually not a bad size, so I'm glad I picked up three. This one is Kiss Me Silly, and it's again that lipstick shape. This is the label that I created. This says strawberry, red raspberries, cranberries, and red currants are blended with hints of apple and rhubarb. It is definitely cranberry. You can smell the apple. It's like a crisp red apple. It's it's yummy. I, I really like it. Um, it's like a nice fruity scent without being tropical fruity, which I do not care for. So I'm happy I got those. These guys. Frosted strawberries. I got three of these, so I have six total strawberries. Can we talk about these? 
they legit look like a strawberry. I'm definitely going to cut these in half and put them in my warmers. So I have 12 strawberry melts. And this is Smells of the Sweetest Sun Ripened Strawberries Dusted with Powdered Sugar and Marzipan Cupcakes. It just smells like a decadent, rich strawberry. Mm hmm. Like a fresh picked strawberry made into a delicious cupcake. Heaven. 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 So excited I got those. So these are my little bathing garden Valentine's Day shapes. Oh. Hold the phone. If I show you guys this, there's still two pies left on the site. You can see, like, the inventory levels. Please buy them up so I don't. Pink sugar pie crust. I watched Danny's video, and mine was out for delivery that day, and she showed this. Smells of sweet pie crust and classic pink sugar, which is a perfume. Look at this pie. They're cut into little slices. There's seven pie slices, and it's pink on the bottom. I'll pull out one of the little slices. Look at that. Danny hit the nail on the head. It is such a different pink sugar, but if you smell it, you're like, oh yeah, that's pink sugar, but then you keep smelling it. If you're not a fan of pink sugar, Lexi, this... I tell you all the time, like I told you about the Candles by Victoria pie crust scent. Pie crust in wax, if it's a good pie crust oil, it legit smells like pie crust. Like the buttery, flaky pastry. Oh, mixed with that pink sugar, it sounds like such a simple scent. This is so good. I also have a clamshell in it, so I'll show you that later. But I'm so excited to have this pie. I might order the other two. Like I said, please, I hope to go after, like, an hour after watching this video and seeing there's no pies left because I don't, mm -mm, no, I, I want you guys to buy them up. But I might get some more clams in this. Uh, if there's clams left of that when I order the circus, circus, I got it right. If I ordered from the circus, then I will definitely order some more clams in that. Alright, so those are my shapes, and actually as I'm looking in the box, there is another shape. It's a little heart. It is in Honey Love, but I have that in a clam too, so we'll talk about that then. So next we're going to move on to the clams. She offers two types of clams. Her regular clams, which are six pieces, and I believe I have my, they are 425 for six pieces, like a six piece normal clam, 425. And then she offers these jumbo clams that are $12.95. So if you're familiar with like a Scentsy bar and a Scentsy brick, it's kind of the same deal. I believe one of these is equivalent to two of these. So it works out. So you would cut these cubes in half. I know people cut these into smaller, but I just think it's amazing to have like a jumbo size of these clams. So how I figured is I first looked at the jumbo clams. Whatever scents I wanted in a jumbo clam, I picked up. So I got six jumbo clams. Five are from the, ha from the Valentine's Day collection. This one is from the Halloween collection. So I will talk about that one. And then the rest I just ordered in the single clams. And if it was a scent I know I really, really think I would like that wasn't offered in the jumbo, I ordered two regular size clams. That was like the method behind my madness. So, the first clam, now these are going to take a while because I have to showcase just how stunning her wax is. This is Banana Pumpkin Marshmallow. So on the jumbo clams, I went ahead and put the label down here. When I open these though, there's like a lot of fallout from the pieces, so I'm just going to be really careful when I show you. You hear that? Look at these. I mean, they're stunning. And the clams, yeah, like there's like glitter everywhere. But the clams, they just pop out like this, the cubes. So yeah. So this one is Smells of Bananas Foster, my favorite dessert, blended with pumpkin cake and clouds of marshmallow. It does. It smells 
like rich bananas foster cake. It's creamy, it's rich. I love banana, so I knew I had to pick this one up. And by this Halloween, it'll be nice and cured, ready to go. I'm so excited. And like I said, I have a lot of warmers. I have eight warmers, so I'll get like two full melts out of one of these, and then like I can like half them and like mix them with things. So super excited about that one. Now, as far as Valentine's Day goes, I got luscious. Now, just take a look at this. I'm actually going to leave them in the clams as I show you so they're easier to showcase. And this is smells of a luscious blend of cotton candy, bubble gum, candied pears, and sweet apples. Inspired by Candy Fluff from Lush. Candy Fluff was a scent that came out from Lush years ago. Like here. Just look at the... I mean, they're just stunning. There's all these different glitters. It's amazing. And these have to take her so long because it's not like she pours it. She pours each individual cube. Like, this has to take her forever to make. Lush had a product called Candy Fluff years ago. And it was a dusting powder. Like a powder you put on your body after a bath. Like, it's a very old-fashioned thing. And they got rid of it. Nothing to this day has smelled exactly like Candy Fluff from Lush. Because the dusting powder had its own distinct smell, I say it's like that Lush smell. It's amazing. I When you see a scent inspired by Candy Fluff, you have to try it. It's like a bubblegummy, candied, sweet scent, but the scent of the powder itself is captured in this scent. So excited to have that one. Now this is one, I love Valentine's Day for the main reason I don't have a boyfriend. I never want a boyfriend. I'm much happier on my own. Um, I love the scent of roses. So it's a month where I can burn all my rose candles and love every minute of it. So this is Brown Sugar Cream Rose Bouquet. And it looks just like this. Absolutely stunning. Like stunning. And this is Smells of Whipped Butter Cream. Whipped Butter Cream brown sugar, and sugared rose petals. And this, it, it just smells like a, it smells like a very sweet rose. Like a buttercream whipped rose scent. And rose flavored things are actually really good too. So if you don't like smelling roses, because I know a lot of people in the wax community are not a big fan of rose, I have a feeling this will probably still be on the site whenever I order the circus things. So, yeah, definitely have to try that. <gasps> honey Love. This is a dupe for Honey I Wash the Kids from Lush. Also love that scent. It's toffee, caramel, honey, and sweet vanilla. If you've never smelled Honey I Wash the Kids. Yep, and, and again, it has that Lush aftertone note of uh, like soap. It's amazing. And look at those little wooden placards. They are safe to put in the warmers. They'll just like float to the top, but Oh my gosh, her wax is just so adorable. You can tell so much time and effort goes into these. Yeah, it's just like Honey I Wash the Kids, that toffee, rich, sweet honey scent. And the last two. This is All Lexi, All Lexi, All Lexi. Parisian Strawberry Fields. She raved and raved and raved about this scent. I got it in a sugar scrub. I got it in jumbo clams. I also got it in a small clam because I plan on like melting this first and then I'm like, oh great, I have more clams of it. And this is smells of ripe strawberries blended with vanilla, mango, and peaches. Now this, oh yeah, see like a gem already fell off. Let me see. Yeah, this is like, I love peach and mango in wax. They just add such a unique sweetness to things. It's kind of like when you add honey to food instead of sugar, it takes on like a totally new f uh, flavor profile. This is the same with scent profile. Like you immediately do smell the sweet succulent strawberry, but mixed with the peach and mixed with the mango, it adds this sweetness that's so juicy. Strawberry, peach, and mango are the three scents I always say in wax that smell like you could literally squeeze the wax and it drips down your chin. Like the wax will literally juice itself. It's so realistic. 
all three of those captured in this scent. If you're a strawberry fan, you need to pick up Parisian Strawberry Fields. This is heaven on earth. Speaking of heaven on earth, without tilting the box too much, is that not the prettiest sight in the world? I think I got 40 clams. I think I got 40 clams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I got 40 clams. So without further ado, let's showcase 40 bathing garden clams. All right, guys, I already know this video is going to be super, super long. So let's just dive right in. Now, I do have two clams that do not have um, labels on them. Every $100 you spend with a bathing garden, it's kind of like an unspoken of little thing. You get a free clam. Yeah. But technically... After shipping, I could have had a third clam. That's all I'll say. And the budget for the low buy was $100. The first one is Sweetheart, and it has these three little conversation hearts on it. So cute. And I don't know why I can't find the description on this, because it is like Valentine's Day, unless this one's sold out already. Yeah, this is like, this is just like a sweet candy scent. Like a lime candy. I know I said that about the other one. If you do know the description of these two, please leave them down below so I can make a label for it. But yeah, it's nice. It's okay. I mean, it's not it's not a favorite. This one, though, Melting Lemon Hearts. This I love. It's just like a little, like, it's hard to see with the lights. Here. See, it's like holographic, and it has like little hearts here, and then it like goes up. It just smells like a lemon sugar cookie. Like a rich, baked lemon sugar cookie. Super yummy. And I, again, I'm just going to go kind of quickly because I have so many to talk about. I did get two from the Halloween collection. This is Boo Berry Mansion. And this is blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla with a heaping scoop of sweet sugar blended with iced birthday cake. And how cute. It's a little ghost with little ghosts on top. Obsessed. And so this is like a blueberry type of scent. Like a blueberry. Yeah. And it does. It smells like a blueberry. Blueberry bakery cereal scent. Yeah. That's yummy. Yep. I like it. It'll be good for Halloween. Um, I did pick up. Yep. I picked up two more from the Halloween collection. And this is. Tricky Banana Treats, and this one says, a yummy vanilla cupcake with swirls of banana and caramel kissed with a hint of cinnamon and cream cheese frosting. And there's like these little candied bananas in there, so cute. It smells like a banana cupcake, but it's right, it has cinnamon and cream cheese. It's like cinnamon cream cheese frosting. You definitely pick up on the cream cheese frosting. And it does not come across sour like the sugar milk does. Yeah, I like cheesecake and wax. And like cream cheese. I'm not a super fan of sugar milk and wax, so I'm happy with this one. Happy, happy, happy with that one. And then the other ones that are not in that collection, just to get them out of the way, are Flamingo Beach. No, Flamingo Punch. I picked up two of these. And this is Papaya Pineapple Passion Fruit Pineapple. Papaya, passion fruit, all the peas. Orange, apricot, and guava. Guava. And check that out. It's like a hot pink wax with a little flamingo. It's it's yummy. It's definitely guava. Oh, this one's broke. Gold cubes. It's definitely guava. I love the scent of guava though. It's like a real tart tartness in wax. And pineapple and passion fruit. Like, it's a very exotic, woo, that's a nice save. Exotic, tropical, sweet scent. There were those guys. All right, now let's get into all the Valentine's Day wax. So much. The first one I have is complicated, and this is caramel coffee layered under a blend of coconut, vanilla, chocolate, and crushed pretzels. Oops. And it's this teal blue on the top, brown on the bottom, and it has like a little pretzel. I'm honestly not getting a ton of pretzel. I don't want to get glitter everywhere by popping this out of the 
out of the tray. I just want to see if it's like layered scent wise. No, nope, it's the same scent on top and bottom. Okay, this is like definitely a caramel coffee. The coffee comes across a little bit bitter. It's not super, super sweet coffee, which is okay. I'm not picking up on much pretzel. I'm definitely getting the caramel coffee. Coconut, maybe like a coconut cream. But it's certainly not tropical. Yeah, it's nice, like a caramel coconut, or caramel coffee scent. I have two of these too, I know. Yep. This one is Cinderella Would Be Jealous, and I'm so excited I got two of these. This is almond cake, marzipan, and vanilla ice, icing, inspired by Lush's Snow Cake. And if you know Snow Cake, it's like this beautiful almond soap that comes out every year from Lush. It says, once upon a time. Yeah. If you've never smelled Snow Cake, it's almond marzipan. It's not cherry almond, it's not pistachio. It's almond marzipan. Ah, sweet, buttery, almond, like, almond cake. It's just, like, warming when you smell it. I picked up two in Charm and Ruin, which is also a Lush-inspired fragrance. It says, Lush Vanilla Citrus Swirled with Fruity Pomegranate, inspired by Prince Charming by Lush. Now, Prince Charming is like a Valentine's Day shower gel that comes out from Lush, and it, so cute with the skull, it, um, it's a very strong pomegranate shower gel. This smells just like it. Like, it's amazing how they capture that lush scent in wax. But yeah, it smells just like that, like, that super strong, bittery, tart pomegranate mixed with some vanilla. Mmm, it's so good. Happy, happy, happy to get that one. I just said another Parisian Strawberry Fields. I'm getting the ones that I have two of first. Two Salted Rose, and Salted Rose is Sugary Rose Jam blended with Salty Tears, Salty Tears, and sprinkled with Pink Himalayan Sea Salt. So, Rose Jam and Salt. It's funny, I like this. It kind of reminds me of something from the Jaws line, from Super Tarts. Maybe because of the salt, it's like sea salty. But I don't think it's like so salty, I feel like I need a drink of water after. It kind of just, kind of just makes it a little bit more like expensive sounding and smelling. It's nice, I really like that. I like rose a lot, so I knew I wanted to try that with the salt. Speaking of salt, I also got salted lavender. And this says, my favorite lavender blended with crystallized sea salt, soft woods, white musk, and sugary vanilla. It looks like this light purple. Yep. And it must be the same salty note. This is a very herbal lavender. <sighs> Blended with the salt. This has to be the same salt oil in Jaws. Because I kind of smell like this could be a Jaws blend. Yeah. It's, it's good though. It's really yummy. <sighs> I'm excited for this one. By my... I only have one, so this will either go in my bathroom, which I feel like salted lavender would be a good one for the bathroom, or I might put it in, like, next to my bed before I go to sleep. I'm not a huge lavender sleep fan, but sometimes when I, when I do, it's nice. Chocolate Fonce Framboise, which Framboise is like a raspberry wine. And this is dark shaved chocolate topped with a swirl of sugar dusted raspberries. Now this one, oh my gosh, like I said, there's stuff comes out everywhere. Let me put it back on there. There we go. See, look, it's like chocolate bar, little bit of raspberries. So cute. Oh yeah, it smells like a dark chocolate raspberry. <sighs> Such a good one. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. I like that the chocolate is dark chocolate, not super milk chocolate, because the raspberry is super tart. So, mixing it with a chocolate that's not as sweet as milk chocolate sort of balances it out. <sighs> yeah, it's so yummy. Oh, love. And I love chocolate and wax. I'm a weirdo like that. I've always, I've always liked chocolate scents and wax. 
And then we have two rose glace, which super easy for this one. This is rose jam. So rose petals, fresh citrus, and touches of strawberry, vanilla, and geranium. If you're familiar with rose jam from Lush, it's like a super sweet bubblegummy rose scent with like, does it say lemon? It doesn't say lemon, well, fresh citrus, so. But typically like rose jam has like a hint of a fresh lemon to tone down the rose and make it a little bit more, a little bit more approachable for the everyday person. I love rose jam. I'm definitely someone who is always a big rose jam fan. Now that I've not worked there for a lot of years, I may buy another bottle of rose jam this year just because why not? And then the last one I didn't get doubles up, but I've already talked about before is pink sugar pie crust. And this is so cute. It's like pink on the back and then whoops. And then you have your pie crust on the top and it smells divine. Love. All right. So those are the ones that I have doubles of or I've talked about before. And now we'll get into the singles. We have is seven layer cake. And this is interesting. It says seven layer cake, but it's just mounds of sugared frosting, white cake, and a hint of strawberries. So like a strawberry cake. So I don't know where the seven layers come from, unless it's like seven thin layers and it's just like the same flavor. I was expecting like craziness, but it's yummy. Yeah, I like it. It's just like a strawberry cake though, nothing crazy. Next, we have Blush, and this one is boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate with a note of soft vanilla. There's that guava again. I love guava. I love the color that's like peachy. So it's kind of throwing me off because there's no peach in it. But yeah, strawberry, guava, berry, elderberry, boysenberry. Yeah, it's like a... It's more of a sweet, jammy berry mixed with the tartness of the guava. It's yummy, and it's so pretty with the rose. Next one, now this is interesting. This is Dryad, or Dryad, Dryad Blossoms. Mulberry and grape blended with sugary apple and strawberry jelly. Super cute. This smells also like a Lush scent, and I cannot think of what it is. So if you've smelled this before, please let me know. But yeah, it's definitely grape, but it's not medicinal grape. It's like a sweet grape. <sighs> grape and strawberry and mulberry and apple. Yeah, I can't think of what this is. <sighs> but it smells so good. Yum! Juliet. This one is bubbly champagne, sweet rose jelly, and rich vanilla candy. And this one's kind of just like dried rose petals and some hearts. Very, very, very champagne. Very bubbly. Yeah, very bubbly champagne with just a hint of rose. And the rose, almost like you took a bottle of champagne and just sprinkled some rose petals inside. Oh, this one is super yummy. Guava Berry Gelato. This one is guava, raspberry, and strawberry iced up with creamy gelato. Now this one smells a little plasticky. So let me take it out. You should see where I'm sitting is like covered in glitter on the floor. I, I get that plastic note. This is the first scent from her that I've had that plastic note from. So I don't know. This was like super freshly poured. I don't know. I don't get much. I do get like the berry, but I do get that plastic note too. Speaking of berries, this one is very contrary berry. And this one is berry jelly beans blend with raspberry, wild berry custard, and blackberry sorbet. And look how cute all the berries in there. Yeah, it is. It's a very, very, very berry. It's a very berry scent. Kind of like sweet tarts. Like sweet, sweet tarts. Like you smell that like dusty powder on the sweet tart. Yeah. Mixed with berries. That one's super, super yummy too. Sorry, I just, I have so many. I want to make sure I get to them all. 
This one is Raspberry Hearts, Strawberry Slices, Ripe Raspberries, and White Cake Bites. <sighs> Strawberry, Raspberry, and White Cake. I'm not picking up on much cake. The raspberry is very, very, very strong. The raspberry is very strong. <sighs> yeah. I'm not picking up on white cake or, or strawberry. I'm just picking up on very, very strong raspberry. Oh, and this one, it's red with just a little white heart. This one is tea and rose petal pound cake. And this one is candied rose petals blended with sweet cream, black tea, and vanilla pound cake. And this is like a like banana colored wax with like some dried roses, and then there's like a little rose rose bud there. You definitely pick up on pound cake with a distinct black tea. Yeah, black tea, black tea note. Mm -hmm. You can pick up on the black tea right away. But it's not like super harsh in your face because mixed with the pound cake. Oh, it's, it's, it's divine though. This will be a really, really nice like Sunday. Say you have people over for Sunday brunch. Pop this in the warmer. It's something I guarantee they've never smelled before because of that black tea. Raspberry Coconut Mousse. This one is tart raspberry blended with coconut mousse topped with coconut drizzle. And it's sort of like red with a little bit of white wax, some holographic glitter. It's very coconut and it kind of comes across as bakery coconut or body care coconut. Oh yeah, see like the thin layer of white? Now see, now this one's interesting because the raspberry I definitely pick up right here. Wear this, I definitely pick up on just coconut. Interesting. So maybe some are layered and some are mixed. I'm not really sure. <sighs> yeah. Very, very tart raspberry with a creamy, like, body care coconut. I'm getting through these. I have one, sh one sleeve left. This one is lemon curd and rose milk. Tart rose... Tart lemon curd layered over fresh cut roses, rich milk. I've had this before from her years ago. I have to, because the second I smell it, that scent memory instantly came back. Yeah, like a very tart, it's a very, very, very tart lemon. Not a cleaner lemon, though. Very, very tart lemon. Rose? Mm, I don't necessarily get rose. Like, straight up. Unless it's mixed with rose jam. Which, to me, doesn't necessarily come across as like a super floral rose. It's way sweeter. Love cookie. Sweet cream butter cookies. French vanilla. Caramelized maple syrup. Crystallized sugar. And dusted cinnamon. It's definitely a very rich, rich buttery cookie. This one also kind of has that plasticky smell because of the clam. But... I pick up on the crystallized sugar, the cinnamon, caramelized maple syrup, maybe. I, I really get like the sugary cookie, like a very rich buttery sugar cookie. Excited to try that one. This one is Love Letters from Paris. Sweet Violet blends gorgeous lavender, marshmallow, chamomile, and hints of wild flowers. Now this one is just gorgeous. I purely got it based on how it looks. It's like a little postcard. And this smells like a very floral bubble bath. Like something your grandmother would wear. I only got it based purely on the look, but I'll melt that in my bubble in my bubble bath. I'll melt that in my bathroom. It just smells like a very floral bubble bath. This one is Love Orange, and this is Juicy Taraco Orange, blends with orange peel and kumquat zest. The reason I ordered this one, Crabtree and Evelyn. Do you guys remember that store? They used to sell hand creams so, so, so long ago. And, yes, they still have a website now, but it's, like, totally rebranded. They had a scent, Goji and Taraco Orange, and I was obsessed with that smell. I cannot find it anywhere. So when I saw Taraco Orange, I knew I had to try this. This one says love, and there's an orange. It's not the same. This just straight up smells like a strong orange juice. Like you just freshly squeezed orange juice. 
which isn't bad. I like orange juice, just not what I was expecting that to smell like. Um, I was expecting it to smell like that. I knew it wasn't going to 100%, but it doesn't smell anything like it. It just smells like a fresh squeezed orange juice. Love Story. This one is Peppermint Rock Candy blends with powdered sugar, white vanilla, whipped cream, and hints of cream cheese frosting. And this one is like super, super packed with glitter and rose petals. Mmm. You definitely pick up on the peppermint, which I do that and like all this glitter goes out. It's very rosy. A hint of oh, rosy. Very pepperminty. I've been talking about rose so much. Very, very pepperminty. Very, very like nose clearing peppermint. But you smell like the sugar, the vanilla, the cream cheese, like all that tones it down a lot. But the peppermint in here is definitely like a nose clearing peppermint. Just a few, few more. We have Marshmallow Rose Jam. A bottom layer of pink sugar and the sweetest rose jam drizzled with fluffy vanilla and white cake. This just smells like, a, like, like exactly, like rose jam, like her rose glace, just with some like vanilla. Like it's a little bit more creamy. So I like that one too. Marie Antoinette's Boudoir. I did get a sample of this. This one is Sweet Citrus, Fresh Air, Spring Melons, rounded out with Lotus Blossoms, Lily of the Valley, and Bamboo Musk. And it's just like this nice purple wax. I pick up on the melon straight, straight forward. And maybe it's because I love melon and wax. That's why I ordered this. The Lily of the Valley, the bamboo, all that kind of just makes it like a clean, soapy smell. I like this. I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's like a clean, soapy scent, which is the hint of melon. This one is Rainbow Candy Cream Soda. Fruity candy blended with sparkling sweet cream soda. And this is like, honestly, the most basic one out there. It's just pink, red on the back, and then just some glitter. I don't pick up cream soda necessarily. I do get fruity candy, and it's a little bit more like creamy candy. Maybe that's the cream soda, but I was expecting really, really bubbly from this, and I'm, I'm not getting that. Yeah, it's like a super sweet fruity candy. And then last but not least, if you made it through this whole video, we have Old Fashioned Valentine. A sugary sweet treat with vanilla, marzipan, dark fruits, and spices. This one has a little XO on it. I don't care for this. I don't know if it's the dark fruits and spices. I don't know if it says it's old fashioned. I'm not a fan. It's the dark fruits kind of make it like, I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm not a fan. Almost like rotten fruit. I, I know it's not a rotten fruit scent. I don't know. I will pop it in my warmers next year. Maybe with some cure time. Maybe my nose will change. Not a super big fan. I need a sip of water after all that. Wow. That was so much wax. My nose, my body, my whole my whole vicinity is covered in glitter. So that means it is time to pack it up, clean it up, let it cure, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. A happy Valentine's Day. Let me know what you picked up from the bathing garden. What are some of your favorites? And please, please let me know any and all recommendations for the bathing garden's circus collection, because I'm dying to know what I absolutely need to order, what I need jumbo clams of, what I need shapes of, because I plan on placing a pretty big order for that circus collection. I already know it. So definitely let me know. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell down here in the corner so that way you're alerted every time I upload on YouTube. Have an incredible day. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.